Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to activate the Add Additional Symbol Study into the Sierra Chart platform. Now, the Add Additional Symbol Study allows the chart bar data for an additional symbol to be added to either a historical or an intraday chart in a separate chart region from the original symbol that the chart was intended for. It's worth noting that this data is read directly into the chart, so because of this, there is no need for a separate or an additional chart. Now, the purpose of this study is to visualize the bar data for another symbol within the same chart and also to perform custom calculations that involve the main price graph and the chart bar graph for an additional symbol or multiple symbols. Now, before we get into the meat of things, I just wanted to make a note. It is essential when using this study to use Sierra chart version 1694 or higher. This is a relatively new study and in previous versions, this study was still under development. So there are some issues in prior versions. So it's better off just quick updating your Sierra chart rather than going through the problem and the frustration of having an outdated system with a study feature that doesn't work. And it is also worth noting that any number of add additional symbol studies can be added to the chart to add more than one additional symbol to the chart. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let me show you how to add this study to one of your charts. First up, we'll need to find the symbol that we would like to open a chart for. So head up to the top left hand corner of your window and click on the FS button, otherwise known as find symbol. And under here, you can search for your corresponding symbol that you would like to add to your chart. For my example, I'll be opening up a historical chart for the E-mini S&P 500 futures of June 2018. And I'll click on open historical chart. So the chart that opens up is for the E-mini of June 2018. This is my base chart right here. But when we add an additional symbol, it will split the window and two charts will be displayed rather than one. So now that we have our chart open, we can open up a study for it. So to add a study to any chart in this platform, head over to the top left hand of your window and click on the analysis tab. And underneath the analysis tab, go to studies, or you can press the F6 shortcut. Under studies, you see we have a ton of options here that we can scroll, th scroll through. Luckily for us, it is by alphabetical order and we're looking for add additional symbol. So if we go to AD, we'll find the add additional symbol study. Make sure it's highlighted and click on the add button in the middle. Now, if it doesn't by default, the settings window can be accessed right here by highlighting your study and clicking on settings in the right hand side. Like I said, by default, it should pop up right when you add the study because you need to add an input value. But I have ran into cases where this didn't happen for me and I was left a bit confused. So just so you, so you know, you can always go back and access the settings by clicking on the settings button. So once we do click on settings, you'll see here the very top field is symbol under input name and we need to give that an input value. So if we click on this, you'll see down here the search bar on the bottom of this field which says symbol becomes active and we can find a symbol. So once again, if we click find symbol, we'll be brought back to that same find symbol screen as we were before. And I'll click on futures. And honestly, you can add whatever symbol you would like to your existing chart. This could be very useful for spread trading. If you want to open up multiple of the same contracts in different months, or you can have multiple corresponding contracts for a different type of spread trading. It's really up to you here. This feature is great for multitasking in this platform and it creates a huge ease of access. That way you don't have to swap between charts on the fly. So for my example, let's say I wanted to do an intramarket spread. N the normal way of doing so would be to open up my first contract, which is the first E-mini contract of June 2018 that I opened up and then open one up in September and compare the two. Well, with this study, we can just go right in, add our symbol to the new chart, 
and easily compare the charts and find the price action we'd like to place a trade for. So like I said, to add your new symbol into your chart, click on the contract you'd like to trade for, highlight it, click OK. And now as you will see under the symbol and the input value field, our new symbol has been added. We can click apply and right away you'll see things start to change. We'll click OK, click apply once more and then click OK. And now as you can see here, we have two different contracts being displayed on my one chart. So now that we have an additional symbol added to our chart, it's worth mentioning that the top chart is always the original symbol we intentionally created the chart for. And you confir can confirm this by looking in the top left hand corner of your chart. Your symbol and your chart information will always be displayed in the very top left. So if you ever do get confused, you can just look up there. And below that we have our new additional symbol. And for each new symbol that you do add to a chart, it will always be placed on the bottom. And like I said, if you ever get confused about which chart you are looking at, always look at the top left hand of your chart just to get feedback on which symbol you're trading with. Other than that, this feature is pretty self-explanatory and pretty straightforward. If you ever do need to add an additional symbol to a chart, you can follow the same exact process as I showed you. First, open up the chart and select the symbol for the original chart, then go to analysis, studies, scroll down to add additional symbol, click add, then go into settings, select the input of the new symbol that you would like to add, click apply, click apply once more, and then hit OK. You can have an infinite number of additional symbols you'd like to add for a chart. Although it may get a little bit overwhelming, there's really no limit to the amount of symbols you can add on to one chart. So go free with it. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.